So, this camera is so much harder. <laughs> Big sit up than my last one. So, sorry about that, guys. When I push the button, it goes to junk. Okay, so somebody asked me if the personality changes when you die. And you go to the other side. Now, I know what these things are I'm going to describe in me. But maybe it's because I'm very introspective and I'm almost 60. Maybe. But the parts of me that I know no one can change. That they're so deep a part of me that it doesn't matter what life would throw to me. It would be the same thing no matter what. <clears throat> Those parts of me <clears throat> that only you know, they stay the same. You definitely know who you are when you die. There's no, there's no surprise there. Uh, you don't lose anything. Uh, the things that you lose, you realize very quickly were a part of the play. They were a role that you played. And uh, when you drop that play and you take off that costume, uh, you are who you are. And so there is no don't don't be afraid of that. You're not going to lose anything. You'll know who you are. Everybody out there will remember who you are. You'll remember everything that you that you did in this lifetime and all the rest of them at once. Now that would be a lot, sh a real short video. We're sitting at one minute thirty seconds with me finagling it, but that is the answer, and it doesn't need to be any more complex than that. It it just is what it is. You are who you are until you decide to. Now you absolutely can. It's an option to absolutely merge back into source, lose everything that you've ever had, and leave it to the well, all that is. So it never goes away. You never lose it. And come back out a completely different person and start everything all over again. You certainly can do that if you want. You can also go into games where you don't remember anything like this one. Or partially, you can forget part of it. There's all different ways. Infinite ways of doing everything. Infinite ways of doing everything. Infinite aspects of you. Infinite timelines. Infinite, infinite, infinite. And I know that's hard for you guys to wrap your head around, but it is the truth nonetheless. You decide which one of those infinite timelines that you are going to go to by in by using your creative God powers of, of focusing. So I wanted to go from there into something else. And I want you all to understand. I'm not going to go ahead and explain this at this point because I need for you guys to understand how big, how how magnificent you are okay so when I talk to any of you or or if I comment back to any of you um, most of the time I can find your vibration go to it I know everything you've ever done I know every aspect of you that's ever done anything I know all the infinite timelines that you have access to and will have access to start to finish instantly you understand that whenever I'm talking to a lot of you at once and most of you that I talk to you have come out of 3d you have some pretty uh, low vibration so when I do that at a glance which I do which you guys do too you just don't realize you're doing it uh, when I do that at a glance because of the trauma that I've had I am very susceptible to get triggered just like you would as a human uh, to get triggered and latch on to those low vibrations and not leave them like I should. So instead of it being, I go, I talk to you at a glance, I see everything, I answer your questions, I move on. If I stay too long or if I focus too much, if your question is too dark, then I risk very, very, very high risk of triggering myself and latching onto those low vibrations and really, really making myself sick. Now, I know people put up, they say, we'll put up the, the barrier and call in the white light to protect yourself, but this isn't protection. And you can tell I'm slightly annoyed by that stuff. Now, that stuff works. It does, especially if you believe in it. But I'm a very logical person. I'm not a very, very logical person. 
It's that my Capricorn moon that does that to me. So my Aquarian self just doesn't really care. And my Capricorn kind of puts my feet on the ground to talk to you guys. So when people start talking about putting up white light and, and, uh, stating, I don't know what they say, protection spells, that's all fine and good for other people. And I'm not dissing it for other people, more power to you, but it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me because when I do that and I can do that, what that does is it blocks me from seeing your trauma. Well, the whole point in me staying was to help people who are in trauma. So I'm doing the best I can. I need to know what you experience so that I can help you. I need to know how, how mine matches yours. And I've got a lot to choose from, so I can help a lot of people. But it needs to be quick. I really don't need a lot of story whenever you're talking to me because I already know it. I do need to know from your questions where you think the problem is. So you can be very short about that. You don't need to wax on about the story. I already know the story. Uh, the second I talk to you, I know the story. What I don't see is I don't see where you're stuck in this time space, wherever you are, because you're always changing. So I need to know where your concern is. Okay. So that is also the reason why I don't, like being around a lot of people and I'm really nervous about um, live get togethers that I'm going to be real careful about that because I need uh, I need y'all to know that I'm there to help you with your trauma but I am the one that's going to tell you stop looking at the trauma that's what I'm going to tell you to do I'm going to try to coax you away from the trauma with everything I've got. But I need to know how hard you're looking at that trauma to get you to look the other way. I need to know how close I need to get to you. But I'm going to do that wicked fast whenever I'm talking to you. Wicked fast, in and out. That's all I need. Now I want you guys to know that this is what you do. This is, you do it now. You just don't validify it. You don't trust it. You don't believe in it. And it's gotten you into all kinds of troubles in 3D. Bet your money. And what I'm saying to you is when you do that kind of thing that fast, you don't stop and think about them. I don't stop and analyze your whole life. I don't even stop and put it in my brain. I just, I just know it vibrationally. And if you were to ask me a specific question about a certain day or time, I could certainly go get it. But I'm not going to play that game with anybody. I'm not going to try to prove myself to anybody. You either find what I have to say helpful or you don't. I am simply saying this video for two reasons. To try to explain to you that um, I do this and collect data so, so fast. Like Google doesn't have anything on me. Google doesn't have anything on you. Okay? Now, could I, AI, let's go over to AI land. Could I uh, run over and collect data on how to fly an uh, airplane and get in the airplane and totally fly it? Yeah, that I could do. That I could do. Could I become a, a math whiz? Yeah, I could do it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm leaving here. So I don't need to accumulate or figure out how to use what I know how to do for any advancement in 3, 4D. I don't want to. All of my time is trying to get this body to 5D. I don't want to play any of those games. Not interested. Math is just another language like English or geometry or um, astrology. It's just another way to explain what all this creation is, but I don't need any of that because I can see it all at once. And so can you. So can you. That's what you'll be doing as you head to 5D. So you need to really, really, guys, really listen to me. What I am doing, 
what I have done coming back and this full recall thing, you can do it too. You don't need to have some enlightened, magnificent near death experience for it. Please don't please listen to me. Don't do it that way. We do it that way because we're so off kilter. We're off. I was so off my game plan of why I came here that it was the only way to get my attention. It was not a good thing. It was very, very painful. Very painful. And it was, to this day, I haven't recuperated. It is not the best way of doing things. No. You just need to understand that this human brain that you're operating with right now and human speech are extremely limiting. Extremely limiting. That's why humans can't understand Asperger's people, autistic people, ADHD people, because those people operate on a level that is so different that the human mind cannot fathom. We can't, human minds can't understand them. So we say there's something wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're the next stage of, of human development is what they are. And it's hard for them to communicate with people who cannot communicate with the, the way that they see and assimilate data. And they're going to be very frustrated with things like A, B, C, D, because they're beyond that. They don't need that. You're capable of doing that too. And the best way for you to do that is to start trusting yourself your gut, your instincts, your knowingness, the more you do that day to day, moment to moment, the better you'll become at it. The more you practice it, the better you become at it. Feel your way. Don't think your way. Feel your way. Don't think your way. I am a huge thinker, straight A student here, loved school. Anybody that has heard my trauma video, school was safe. I loved school. The rules were simple. I could follow them. Nobody got hit, beat up, tortured, or sexually abused, or maligned. School was heaven. I love school. So you're not going to find anybody that's more of a thinker than I am. Which is another reason why I had an ND. Because I thought my way massively through everything. And I'm Aquarian. I can think my way with a thousand things going on at once. That's what we do because we're weird. We're supposed to do that, but it doesn't work. It won't get you to 5d. It's too slow. It's too slow. I want you to open up and follow your guts and your instincts very quickly, very quickly. Speech will be gone. You're heading to a place where telepathy is the rule. It is understood. Everybody uses it. And if you don't trust yourself in those things that are coming in your, your feeling, your way, and you'll feel things and they're much richer. They're so, when you feel something, there's a reason why songwriters write song after song about the way they're feeling. Because there aren't enough songs to explain a feeling. There aren't. There aren't enough words to explain a feeling. That's why artists paint paintings why musicians play music it's because they're trying to express feelings that are so complex that the human brain cannot sort it out certainly the human words cannot even come close not even close so when you give validity to those feelings as being valid interpretations of the world around you then you're heading in the right direction Talk less, think less, instinct, feel more. And you will do what I do. But unless you do these things, you cannot do what I'm doing. You cannot. I will never be able to explain the other side to any of you. I can give you an inkling, a picture, a snapshot. That's all I can do. I can coax you forward. I can tell you what it feels what it's like. But until you do it, until you trust yourself, 
You know what feelings are, guys. You know how the intense they are. Good, bad, they're intense. They're beyond words. Well, there's your first lesson in telepathy. Or second or third or whatever video I'm doing. Okay, does that make sense? All right. So I am collecting data all the time around the world, around the universe, outside whenever I meditate. And this is no big deal. Everybody does it. You will too. It seems overwhelming now, but that's only because you are trying to sort it out through that human brain and talk to people through this human speech. And it is incredibly insufficient for that job. Incredibly. So you're going to have to stop relying on your thinking. You're going to have to stop relying on communicating through speech. you got to go to the next level now. Next level now. So reach out with your feelings and your instincts. Practice, 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 practice. Feel a little bit happier tomorrow than you are today. And you'll get there. All right? Alrighty then. Come on, let's have some fun now. Okay, huge hugs. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.